Hey guys, today this is my Italian close-up video. Um, this metal here was actually, took me a while to get. Italy and Japan were the two last inlays that took me the longest to get and almost the most expensive. Aside from the German one, these were the most expensive. Um, this is from the black shirts, okay? There's actually a piece that goes right here, but I never put it on. Um, what it is, if you can see here, the skull with the dagger in the mouth. Uh, there's actually another piece that goes on this on this ribbon here, but I've never uh, attached that. Actually, I, uh, I kind of lost it. I mean, I, I kind of know the whereabouts. It's around here somewhere, but I haven't actually dug around looking for it. But this was one of the, and it took the longest to get. I actually had to get it from Italy. It took a while. Okay, but these, as I mentioned in another video as well, the sculpts on Italy and the sculpts on Anzac, I think are the best sculpts that, that came with Axis and Allies. And I think that's just because they are some of the newer units and they, they put a lot of work in, into these units. I mean, a lot of work. These, these ships are um, very, very nicely detailed nicely detailed and again I apologize for my fat thumbs getting in the way Let's see if we can pose this light a little differently maybe that'll help and these uh, these transports these transports are great There's so much uh, detail on the on these on these transports and of course like I mentioned in the other video uh, you know pretty much all the ships are are gray. You really have to look look at at the markings that are on them. Um, in addition to, I try to outline some of these, and they are they have green on the bottom, but and some of them I had to actually sand off. There was nowhere to put the round ball on there, so you actually uh, I sanded that area off, a little turret, just so I had some place to place this round ball. Can you can't even see it. It's the fascist one um that was another thing too on the on the game board has the color roundel and uh, with the the red uh, the red white and the green um but getting doing when i was doing research for uh italian vehicles none of them had that none of them had that marking they all had the fascist marking right except for a flag of course they had the uh, the flags but they didn't have you know that red, right, and green around all they had the fascists. So that's why you see all these done in the fascists, and that's why I replaced the roundels with these. And if you've been watching any updates on my custom map, they all have these as well. There's you know there's no more of um, of the other ones. Is that too blurry? Again, just all these, uh, all the decals came from historical board gaming. I, I love that place. They have such, such great stuff. Like I said, but the numbers, I, I don't recommend doing the numbers because you'll, you'll, you will hate life the entire time you're doing it. I mean, you will literally hate your life. Okay, it's, it's miserable. I really like these, this, this paint. I'm um, just, you know, the nice little polka dots. I tried to do it with the airbrush and I was shooting it with the, the airbrush at first and um, it just it seemed to be easier if I just dotted it with a with a paintbrush. Like I said all the all the research I did all the planes had that fascist roundel. But they're all they're all painted the, the same, like I said, to uh, keep a the certain theme going. I think these are the only planes in game that have a camo. I think no, no, that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. A Anzac has a camo, but this is definitely the only one with the with the with the, the polka dot camo. Now these sculpts on these tanks, I I didn't need to order anymore. I mean, I I liked these sculpts that came out of box uh, there was no reason to uh, 
order any any different ones and I should probably get tweezers like Big E does because you know you don't have to look at my fat hands but yeah because I got how recessed all that detail is in there it's um, it's really nice to get the shading going on it really just makes those the wheels you know pop out you know it's it's a it's a really really good sculpt it was I had no complaints I had no desire to replace this sculpt it was like I said they made really good sculpts on Italy and this truck this truck is great there was nowhere to put that uh, you know I could put it on the doors but it'd been way too small and granted this is the only vehicle that looks like this but like I said uh, you know I have to gear it toward new players you know, um, and actually, I I haven't had a new player at my table in a long time, but I'm always open to to get them, right? I mean, like I said, where are we without new players? We're just gonna be playing the same old, same old. And what happens when you sing the when you play the same players all the time? Well, you kind of have to you start getting the same the same results. You know, you kind of got. No, I don't mean winner and loser. I just mean you know people do the the same tactics. Um, you know they get they get they get comfortable in a um, in a particular turn order like uh, what they're gonna do and that's why on my when I just did my UK video I, I wasn't really it wasn't really a strategy video it was more or less dude you can do this you can do that you can do this you can do that and that was my point is that you gotta change up the game you know if you don't change up your tactics uh, you're going to end up with the same games, right? I mean, then, then it's not even really a strategy game. It's more of a, of a dice rolling game. Oh, who got the better roll? Because you played the same game you did last time. You know, that's why uh, I made those videos. Was And that's why, you know, in my, in my Cobra Kai, it's different than anybody else's video. Uh, not that I have a problem with any other people's strategy videos. I just don't want to put out the same thing. I want to put out something different. So you can be like, you know, there's more stuff you can do. That's the whole point. And winning and losing isn't really, to me, isn't about the game. It's a it's the strategy. The strategy, to me, is the game. And if, if I have to do the same moves all the time, well, that's not very fun. And why does he look kind of dark? Hopefully you can see him. Okay, this is one of my favorite guys that came out. He, uh, let me move this light. The, the detail in these sculpts, like I said, are, are great. I mean, I really hope you can see this. I mean, you, you can't go wrong painting a sculpt that is freaking epic, right? Look at all the detail on this guy. Let me flip him so you can kind of see the pockets and everything. He is the, the craftsmanship in this sculpt is unbelievable. And if they wish they all had this much detail in them. Like I said, it's just because I think these were newer sculpts, right? They may be a different artist, even, took over... Um, when they added these units in, because this you can definitely tell the artistry uh, quality differences between like they're, they're the normal German and Russian and British guys compared when you have the Anzac and the, and the Italian guys. Not just the guys, but all the equipment. You can see the detail in this in this palette is superior. To the other ones like when i say this this and anzac you put this and anzac together with the other palettes you're gonna it don't even look like the same game these the, the quality in this italian uh units are is is great okay well that wraps up i was you know they mean to ramble on so long on a small country like italy but see we got italy done all right guys take care oh i'm not sure who will be next but we'll uh we'll pick somebody